So I'm Sayani Biswas. Uh, so I'm currently doing my postdoctor postdoctoral fellowship uh, postdoctorate in uh, Ganil, France. Uh, so I uh, do mostly uh, experimental nuclear physics. Uh, so because there are a very uh, huge diversity of audience, so I'll try to be very uh, be, uh, try to explain in very basic uh, words. Uh, so as you all know, uh, the nucleus, uh, which is at present at the center of the atom, it's a very complex many-body system, and it consists of uh, protons and neutrons. And uh, the, the basic fundamental interaction between the protons and neutrons is still not uh, very uh, well known from the theoretical point of view. So we are trying to do a lot of experiments to understand the interaction between all these protons and neutrons. So just as in, uh, like, when you have a physical system, uh, like as, as suppose a cell, so you try to uh, um, look into the cell using a microscope and in which you use the natural light uh, to see the cells because the wavelength of the light and the uh, dimension of the cell is very similar because it's a micron size. But now what we are trying to study is the nucleus. The nucleus has a femtometer size which is 10 to the power minus 15 meters and it's too small even smaller than the nucleus of the cells. So you, we need to, uh, in order to study such uh, small objects, you need to use uh, uh, some uh, like similar to light, which has wavelength similar to of that order, which is 10 to the minus 15 meters. So we use the gamma rays in order to study this nucleus. And what we do is in experiment is uh, we, sh we have an accelerator which shoots, uh, which has a beam and we shoot on a, a stationary target. And when they collide, the nucleus is, uh, goes to a very high excitation energy, and at that time, it emits gamma rays. So we use these gamma rays to study the nuclear properties. And then we try to understand, I mean, we compare the experimental and the theoretical data and try to understand as to how the interactions between the protons and neutrons are behaving and, and many other properties of nuclei and what is the nuclear shapes and everything. So thank, thank you. you I'm Rini Ganguly and Loud, I'm Rini Ganguly and I'm doing my postdoc in Grenoble Neil Institute. So my current uh, work is uh, fabrication of microsquids, which is superconducting quantum interference devices. These devices are very sensitive to tiny magnetic field. Uh, it can detect much less than a field of uh, magnetic flux quantum. So um, there are techniques uh, using focused laser beam. We can manipulate the individual vortices very precisely. So the idea is to couple individual vortices near the loop and uh, use it as a readout technique for the vortices. Another thing we are trying in collaboration with IIT Kanpur India that uh, we are trying to pl uh, place submicron sized particles near this loop and then to um, figure out the shape and crystalline anisotropy in magnetization. So this is the ongoing thing right now. Thank you. Good. Hello, everybody. I'm Akhila Mela Kodwate Kate. Uh, I'm a PhD student at INSAM Paris here. So I work in the field of uh, structural bioinformatics and mainly proteins. I work on an important class of proteins called as antibodies. Uh, they have uh, therapeutic, diagnostic, and high research value. Uh, their estimated commercial value is almost three billion or some dollars. So I don't work on any kind of antibodies, but a special one called as from camels. Uh, these have uh, these are special because they use only half of the uh, uh, protein binding. I mean, sub molecular surface area, which. Uh, to bind to their antigens. And they have uh, interesting properties like heightened hydrophil hydrophilicity and thermostability. And uh, they are proposed to replace all the subtropical and tropical therapeutics in the coming years. So I use computational tools to understand what contributes, what are the uh, uh, biophysical uh, 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 Co confirmations which uh, contribute to it to its stability mostly and my research topic has three uh, sub uh, topics like uh, how do I predict uh, the 3d uh, structures of given um, uh, uh, camelid antibody uh, 
and how do they behave in time and in, in solution, the dynamics, and how do they interact with their antigens, and how do you, how, can I uh, g get some in insights to understand how to improve their interactions further? And thank you. Thank you, Akila. Hello, everyone. I am Ravi Raj Puroit, Purushottam Raj Puroit, but in short, Ravi. Uh, some of you know the story behind the name. Uh, well, I'm a PhD student here at University of Pothier. So I'm working on currently nickel microwire. So this is a project which is in collaboration with Indian Institute of Science, uh, which comes under SEFIPRA. And so what we are trying to here understand is we are trying to understand the, uh, the properties of these tiny wires, which are the size of a human hair. So basically, the, the main idea is the more smaller you go in scale, from micron, from, from millimeters, micron, and then from nano, you, your properties tends to increase. You get higher strength. But alongside that, you have a problem where the, with the ductility. So you get like reduction in ductility. So they have industrially no applications, these nanomaterial, unless we optimize it in some way. So this project that I'm working on currently uses these uh, techniques like synchrotron X-ray diffraction to study really at the lattice scale how the dislocations are behaving and how it is working. So we have finally figured out a new way a uh, novel technique to optimize the strength and ductility synergy using how the grains are arranged within the microwires. So that has been the, uh, the results of my PhD, which is, get, which is about to get over soon. Um, thank you. Thank you. Hi. I'm Shakti Vel Nagarajan. Uh, I'm currently working as a postdoctoral researcher at Institute of European Membranes, University of Montpellier. And uh, the Indian partner is uh, Dr. India, Indian partner is Dr. S. Narayana Kalkura from uh, Anna University, uh, Chennai, South part of India. Uh, I'm, currently working as, um, I'm currently working on uh, designing a polymer patches uh, for tunable drug delivery application. The idea is uh, using some external stimuli like enzymes or even internal stimuli to control the drug release also, I'm working uh, to design a material to create a functional organs or tissues. So this is the major objective of my project. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I am Adar Stranjan. I am doing a PhD here at Institute of Astrophysics, Paris, with Pasquier Notre Dame. And my project is in collaboration with Sefipra uh, and with Ayuka in India. And my collaborator there is uh, Dr. Neeraj Gupta. My project deals with looking at quasar absorption lines to study um, gases in the early universe. And the specific part which, my, which makes my project more interesting is that we're looking at a set of um, systems or absorbers which are extremely strong, meaning that they're very high column density in neutral hydrogen that uh, statistically suggests that it probably is inside a galaxy. Now, the interesting part about my project is that this is the first time anybody is trying to probe general galaxy population in the early universe because they're too faint to be visible in a mission. And uh, I would like to take this opportunity to, uh, to uh, make this announcement that we have already discovered the highest ever molecular hydrogen col column density ever found furthest in the universe, and uh, I have uh, fortunately, got a paper accepted in uh, July, so look out for Ranjan et al. 2018. Uh, that's it. Thank you so much. 